Here we see the Golden Dawn version of the Table of Union, attributing the elements to rows and columns to depict the royal cards of each suit from a tarot deck by crossing elemental rows and columns in the order air, water, earth, fire, proceeding from spirit in the upper left. Likewise, here we see the actual Tablet of Union used in Golden Dawn rituals, which differs from the prior diagram only in its use of Enochian letters at the center of each square. However, otherwise is identical in its attribution of the elements, as here seen on the right side of each square, as well as to the royal cards of the tarot deck, although here seen symbolized by elements on the left side of each square. And although on the table of union the above and below aspects of each square are only labeled in spirit, they are actually derived from a complex system developed by McGregor Mathers, substituting the tetragrammaton, or four-letter Hebrew name of God, for the four elements in the order Yod equals air, He equals water, Vav equals earth, and He final equals fire such that for the four watchtowers we would begin in the lower right corner and proceed around counterclockwise. Although in Mather's system there is actually an element, and therefore one of the four letters of the tetragrammaton, in each of the single squares of the system. And we can see from each cardinal or smaller cross that each sub-angle or smaller quadrant is equally divided into the four elements according to the same order given as counterclockwise around the four elements. The crosses of the deacons, of which there are one for each quadrant or elemental watchtower, are derived by assigning a fixed, moving, or common attribute to each of the twelve signs of the zodiac, which are then symbolized according to the planets, using a system combining the three attributes and the four elements. The method of deriving the attributes beneath the Calvary crosses is by far the most complex, and is derived by taking the elements as rows, given here by the tetragrammaton, and as columns given here by the cherubic sign of each element's season. Not to be confused with the list of elements given as according to He, representing Earth. However, as for the other elements of the tetragrammaton yod heh they are all cross-referenced in rows along with the four elemental Karubic signs of the seasons in columns to yield once again the signs of the zodiac, here following a diagonal pattern established by the crossing of the elements, in a manner unique to each square of the watchtowers. And in the next section we will be looking at the same patterns as established here, only given a color coding system that will make them even easier to understand.